Hello guys, hope you're doing well and as always if you are new to my channel I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to watch all my engineering videos. Thank you. Okay, so the students are having problem in this problem of ours. Uh, so I have decided to make a video to help you in this problem. So the problem is we need to determine the magnitude of the projected components of the force F which is acting along the X and Y axis. Okay, so if you look at it, we have to calculate this force F magnitude. Why? Why? Because uh, uh, of the projected component. They have only given us this force as a scalar value. So in order to component calculate the projection of this component along X and Y, we first have to calculate and transform this scalar force into a Cartesian vector force and then we are going to take its projections along the x, y and z axis. We assume that this force in 3D and it will have some projection along x, some projection uh, along the z axis and some projection along the y axis. Okay. So uh, let us start and concentrate uh, how shall we proceed with this uh, typical problem. So if you look at this problem, this x, y and z our axis and our critical point is this A. This is our critical point A. Okay, and we have to basically uh, be very stringent about this point. So, if you look at it, this point F is going to be making two components, and one of the components which is very easily to be seen is this 300 is making an angle uh, cos of 30 with the y axis. Okay, so one of the components of this force 300 Newton is 300 cos 30 j and you can see in this uh, uh, basically calculation that i have just performed for you it is basically 300 cos 30 j okay then if you look at it very clearly you have to look at this picture and this picture is this in the picture that this vertical axis is the axis which is parallel to the z axis and if you look this is converging down to this point and this axis is also converging to this point. So this line and this line at this point at where they are meeting they are making an angle of uh, 30 degrees. They are making an angle of 30 degrees. So you know it very clearly uh, if this uh, angle which is making 30 degrees from here to here if I see this will be a component which will be parallel to the x-axis. This component is parallel to the x-axis but if you look at very clearly this component is basically parallel to this axis, x-axis but x dash which means negative x-axis and if you look at it more clearly this is the origin the positive x is here but the negative x-axis axis is starting from here and going back and this uh, if you look at it this uh, bracket it is all from this point is also going back so we will say that this component will be the negative component on the x-axis and the other uh, component and you, why I am saying this is sin 30 because if you look at it this angle this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 30 degrees so in front of theta there will always be sine as I have told you in my classes and if you look at it what about this component if this component is sine, then this component will be cos 30. This component is sine 30, so this is automatically cos 30. But this component is parallel to which axis? It is parallel to this axis, which is the z axis. Now we can very easily resolve this force into its components along i, j and k and transform it from scalar to vector. So this component is already understood very, very easy. Now let us say uh, see the component along the x axis. The component along the x axis will be 300, okay, sine 30, and which what will be a 300? This component is sine 30, 300 sine 30, and what is the critical component? Is this one? This component will also be sine 30. So I repeat again, 300 sine 30. And then what about the projection of the, of the other component? It will be because you know this axis is converging over here and it so it will be the other angle also which is basically the sine 30. This is the sine 30 i but this is on the negative axis. This is on the negative so I have placed a minus sign. 
what about the k component the co component will also be 300 uh, sin 30 and what about the other projection along the z axis it will be cos of 30 it will be cos of 30 it is the cos of 30 i cannot just take this because this force is lying in space so it needs to have these two angles multiply to have the projections on the respective x, y and z axis, x, y and z axis. That is why I am using this multiple angles for you guys. Otherwise, we would, if you would, it would have not been bent, we would have very easily calculated in single digit uh, thetas. But it is bent at the back. So these multi angles are coming into the uh, calculation. So just to I uh, hope this point is very understood because if this is understood things will be very easy from now on just perform the basic calculation on your calculator and you will get f equals to minus 75 i plus 260 j plus 130 k now if you look at it why minus because this component is basically along the negative x this is done now we need to calculate the projection of of this cartesian vector force this cartesian vector force projection along the x and y so i have explained projection of f along x and y are the force f x and y components along with the i and j unit vectors of x and y axis so we will take basically the dot product of the this force i and j components with the uh, unit vectors that are lying on the negative x axis and they are which are lying on the positive y axis the unit vector that lies on the uh, on the x axis will basically be uh, the unit vector i which will be lying on this axis and the unit vector that is lying on the y axis will be nothing but it will be the j okay so we are taking the dot product and since we are taking the dot product it will be uh, the scalar force fx equals to the vector f dot of uh, the unit vector i which is lying on the positive x axis okay because he is asking for the positive x if he would have asked in the question negative x then we would have put it minus i over here but he is asking positive x so we take uh, dot of positive i so since the projection is only on the x axis the j and the k component becomes nullified and we take the dot product of minus 75 i with the unit vector i on the x axis and we get uh, the answer as fx equals to minus 75 uh, uh, Newton okay and I and I will make an angle of cos 0 which is 1 and basically the negative sign multiplied by uh, positive unit vector I plus I it will be uh, plus 1 I will be multiplied with minus 75 will give you minus 75 Newton and this fx is the projection on the negative x axis okay this is the projection on the negative x axis what is he asking for but to be technically speaking uh, this projection has to be uh, not on the negative but on the positive x axis you have to take it as the positive x axis not negative because he is asking that the projection must be on the positive x so is the projection on the positive x even though the minus sign is coming now fy will be the same old story we have to multiply our force which is this force which is 70 minus 75 i plus 260j plus 129.9k with the unit vector on the y axis which is j and we multiply it and we get fy equals to 260j into 1j it comes out to be 260 newton okay so fy uh, projection uh, is the projection on the positive y axis so as you guys were having trouble i hope uh, this solution will help you guys thank you very much and you have a wonderful day